Hi, now in this tutorial we're asked to solve the inequality 4 is less than 5x minus 1 which is less than x plus 11. So how do we do inequalities like this? What we do is we basically consider this inequality here, 4 is less than 5x minus 1, solve it for x and then we go on to look at this inequality, 5x minus 1 is less than x plus 11, solve that, combine our results at the end. So I'll show you how anyway. So start with the uh, inequality 4 is less than 5x minus 1. So what we could do is add 1 to both sides and we have 4 add 1 which is 5 and that's going to be less than 5x. And if we divide both sides by plus 5 we don't have to reverse the inequality. Remember, only reverse the inequality if you divide by a negative number. So we just get 1 is less than x. Now it's better to read this the other way around. And we can see that if 1 is less than x, we can read this as x is more than 1. So we'll put, therefore, x is more than 1. OK, now we look at the other inequality, 5x minus 1 is less than x plus 11, so we'll write that in. 5x minus 1 is less than x plus 11. And in this one, let's start by adding 1 to both sides. If we add 1 to both sides, we're just left with 5x, and that is less than x plus 11 and 1, which is 12. Now I'd want to subtract x from both sides, so 5x subtract x is 4x, and that's going to be less than 12. And if we divide now both sides by 4, don't have to reverse the inequality because you're dividing by a positive number. So 4x divided by 4 is x, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So x is less than 3. And you can represent this on a number line. OK, here's our number line. And if we have 1 here, say, and 3 over here, what we have here is x is more than 1. So more than, we put an open circle, and we want more than 1. So everything this way. And then for this one, let's draw another number line, say below, again with 1 and 3. And we want everything less than 3. So have an open circle that way, and we'd want everything less than 3. So that would be everything in that direction. Now, if both inequalities have got to hold, then you most probably saw this anyway without drawing the number lines here. But if x has got to be more than 1, but yet at the same time less than 3, then what we're going to require is literally everything between 1 and 3. So we would want essentially anything in this interval here. And we can write that like this, that x is anything between 1 and 3. OK, x is more than 1, and at the same time, x is less than 3. OK, so hopefully you understand now basically how to solve inequalities where you've got two inequality signs in. OK, and that brings us now to the end of this short tutorial.